Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to use date picker in your Android app. After this video, you will be able to create this type of date picker in your Android project. So let's get started. Before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification on time when we upload new content. Now in Android Studio, I have set up a very simple project and it's very easy to do. The first I'm gonna do is change this constraint layout to a linear layout. You can use whatever layout you want. Change the orientation to vertical and the gravity to center. In here, you can create a date picker widget like this. But that's not what we want. We want to pop it up like a dialog. For that, I'm gonna delete this widget and create a text view here with width and height wrap content. I'm gonna give it an ID, show text. Add below, I'm gonna create a button with the height and width wrap content. and give a text show dialog. As always, we have to provide an ID. I'm gonna simply call it button. Clicking this button will bring up the dialog and I'm gonna show the picked value in this text view. Now we'll go to our main activity.java and in here, first we're gonna initialize our text and the button. So private, text view, I'm gonna call it text and then private button, I'm gonna call it button since I only have a text and a button in my layout. I'm gonna assign them to their following IDs, text equal to find view ID, r dot id dot show text, button equal to find view by id, r dot id dot button. And now I'm gonna call set on click listener on this button. We're not gonna add directly logic in here. Instead, I'm gonna create a separate method for this. For that, we'll go outside of the onCreate method and write here private void. I'm gonna call it open dialog. You can name it however you want. And in here, we're gonna use this date picker dialog. I'm gonna call it dialog is equal to new date picker dialog. As you can see, it's gonna take a couple of arguments here. The first argument is a context. I'm gonna provide this since I'm in this activity. The second argument gonna be a callback listener. I'm gonna provide that at the end. Next, it's gonna be the year, month, and the date of the initial dialog when it's gonna open up. I'm gonna provide an year. For the month, I'm gonna provide zero. Yes, zero for January and one for February. That's how it takes. For the date, you can provide any. Semicolon. Now for the listener, I'm gonna provide new date picker dialog dot on date set listener. And it gonna give me this on date set method. You see these parameters in here. That's the year, month, and the day that the user selected and press the OK button. And now you can take it and put it in your use. For my case, I'm gonna simply display it in the text view. So text view dot set text, string dot value of because they are all the integer values here. In here month and here's our day. And now call dialog dot show outside of the callback method. Without it, dialog not gonna appear in your screen. What we're gonna doing here is pretty simple. We're gonna give this dialog an initial date and in the on date set callback method, we get that dates that user had selected and simply show it in a text view. And now finally, we're gonna call this open dialog method in our on click method. Now that's all you need to do. It's pretty simple, right? Now let's test the app to see how it's work.
Now when I click this button, it's gonna bring up the date picker dialog. And you can choose whatever date you want. And click this OK button. And we get the chosen date here in the text view. You can add a plus one here to get the exact looking month number. Now if you want to change the color of your dialog, go to this values folder in the resource directory and open up themes.xml. In here I am going to create a custom style. I am going to call it dialog theme. For the parent, you can just copy your existing theme and paste it. And at the very last, change it to dialog. And in here, we are going to provide one item called color accent. I am going to provide a black color. You can choose whatever color you want. And now, go to main activity.java. And in here, you can add the style by passing it as an argument. So after the context, we are going to write art dot style dot dialog theme that we have just created. Now let's test it out. Now you can see the color of the dialog has changed into black. And when we select a month, it shows the correct month number as we know. In a similar way, you can also utilize the time picker dialog. For that, I'm going to delete this whole code and write time picker dialog. I'm going to call it dialog is equal to new time picker dialog. As you can see, it's going to also take those five arguments here. But instead of a date, it's going to take hours and minute. For the hour, I'm going to provide 15. That's the 3 p.m. For the minute, you can provide whatever you like. For the last argument, it's going to be a boolean. Uh, it is basically asking you that open up dialog clock is going to be a 24 hours format or not. You can pass any values according to your need. For the listener, I'm going to provide new time picker dialog dot on set time listener. And as usual, it's going to give me this on time set callback method. And in here, you have two parameters, hours and minute. So I'm going to take it and display it in our text view. You can do your own stuff here, like calling method, another thing, do another operations, etc. As the previous one, you can also provide the theme we have created in here. So art.style.dialog theme. And that's all it. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you're still with me, thank you for watching this video. And thank you for the, all the support. You'll get the source code of this video in the description. So stay tuned for the next one.